So welcome to this uh, special edition of this interview. Uh, we have just called this interview an iChat review interview. Well, iChat, well, well, meaning uh, international conference on e-health and telehealth. That was the first of its kind, which was held in Kathmandu for three consecutive days. Um, 1st of November till the 3rd of November 2018. Actually, well, as far as the success rate of this first ever conference held in Kathmandu, Nepal, was a tremendous success from my point of view, where I was also involved to some extent, but uh, more skillful and more um, knowledgeable and more uh, professional answers are awaited today and we have here um, Madam Dr. Srishti Sresta who is the Associate Professor of Dermatology uh, Nepal Medical College NMC in short and then well she's also the Vice Principal of NMC President of Saud Velon, Society of Dermatologists, Venereologists and Leprologists of Nepal. Well, adding more, she is also the consultant dermatologist at Daishak. I can't believe these titles, what well, I've been <laughs> saying. What a feat and an age of a lady so young and having to do with so many titles. First of all, I begin by congratulating you on Thank you, sir. the so many tiles you have, the laurels you're wearing. Dr. Sresta, now, the first Aishat, as I said, held in Kathmandu, was really <clears throat> a great success from my point of view. And actually that was, a well, several laurels or whatever you say, um, been added to the success of the conference but we'd like to hear from you because you were also the chairman or chairperson of the scientific committee of Aishat so would you like to or would you mind rating this Aishat a little bit thank you sir first of all thank you for that elaborative introduction as always <laughs> And talking about ISAT, I personally would like to uh, give some adjectives to this conference. Uh, we know it's the first international conference on telehealth, one of, one of its kind. Uh, I, I, as I was going, like just trying to recall the event, I just uh, would like to add some adjectives to the event as such. So first of all, I'd like to call it a multinational comprehensive scientific extravaganza. So that is a multinational because we had eminent speakers who participated in sci seven scientific sessions with 26 lectures in total. Though telehealth and telemedicine and e-health is pretty new in our country. I feel we were very lucky to have speakers all from all around the world. To name from Switzerland, from, uh, New Zealand, Italy, Finland, Austria, USA. We had three speakers from USA, Spain, France, China, Mali, Poland, India and not to forget Nepal as, Nepal as well. So that is one adjective I have given to the conference as such. The next thing is the multidisciplinary. We as we as most of us the organizing committee with the dermatologist so naturally uh, People would feel that there would be more of teledermatology only But in contrast we had speakers from wide range of specialties to include dermatology Then we had a trauma surgeon. We had a dentist. We had a nursing faculty We had two nursing faculties. We had an ENT surgeon we had a psychiatrist, we had a faculty of political science as well and healthcare technology and besides that we had some 
experts from inform information technology as well. Uh, the other thing I told was, I said it was a very comprehensive because it was not only related to medicine as such. We, uh, it was centered just uh, not only to e-health from medical perspective. We are there to discuss about the IT aspect of telehealth as well and the pitfalls, the challenges, everything on uh, from the IT uh, aspect was also or technical aspect was also discussed. And, and the upcoming, what are the future of telehealth, the future of telemedicine was also discussed there by few of our speakers. Uh, so and future of telemedicine like including artificial intelligence that was a very uh, extravagant talk which was very very interesting so besides that the other adjective is an innovative one I guess it is the first uh, conference where we had a pre-conference interview and we uh, had that interview shown just before the lecture of respective speakers that was one of his kind and I um, almost all the guests or all the delegates appreciated that and they were very happy with the outcome. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the live demonstration from Gerkutar of what teledermatology service we were giving. That was again a very, very highlight of the confer conference, I should say, because we should, could show it live amongst the uh, speakers from different parts. The one that you are talking about is um, done by Miss IT consultant of Daishak. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bagirat Tiwari. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Good. So these were the good points. Okay, <laughs> then uh, if you keep on talking, Dr. <laughs> Swester, then I'll have no chance. <laughs> well, I'll be a little bit rude, but anyway, I'm now requesting you. You did a wonderful rating, and you did really use very outstanding adjectives. <laughs> Well, so many adjectives for a conference like this one really is praise, I mean, these are praiseworthy adjectives you mentioned. Now, if we are talking about the success, if we are talking about how good the conference was, so maybe you have also detected some shortcomings of the conference. Uh, have you seen or you want to speak on the shortcomings? Yeah, when I look back, sit and look back uh, regarding the conference, maybe uh, we tried our best to disseminate the information, but maybe we were lacking in some aspect because I still feel, feel the number of delegates from Nepal were less in number. Actually, around last week, I met a dermatologist from Nepal and she was mentioning about this conference. She told me, I didn't know about this conference, I would have participated. So we tried our level best, but maybe that is one point we were lacking. But besides that, I came to know from some of our fr friends that many, uh, the government as well as non-government organizations are uh, doing research on mobile apps and health services and uh, telehealth kind of things so I had um, written a mail to one of the government officials but I didn't get reply so maybe we couldn't get those delegates to share their experiences because this is a this was a great opportunity for us Nepalese to learn from the experts so we didn't have good number of uh, delegates who had some experience with telemedicine from Nepal as such. That was the main pitfall I felt. Yeah, this was also what I really felt, you know, when uh, I was doing the program and reading out the list one after another. So I felt that the Nepalese uh, dermatologists, uh, renowned ones, even the ones who were involved in this field, were very were less represented than other delegates. Yeah. All right then, uh, what would have been even better in this conference, uh, in your opinion? I just can't think about the number of, uh, to, uh, when I have to tell about the conference as such, because it's a very new concept, the number of delegates were fine, but. I think there would be more number of delegates 
that was the, that is the only thing I can think about right now. That means a conference should have more participation, more, participation. more representations. Yeah. Well, I agree to that. And now, uh, before this conference started, uh, the DIMC, this communication department, conducted uh, an interview with all the chairmen of ISHAT, uh, belonging to different committees. Yes. And there we could also exchange some good ideas and the opinion and so on. So I then kept on praising about the teamwork. Do you like to comment on the teamwork? Yeah, obviously. Be honest, be honest. Yeah, obviously, a conference is not uh, in a person's hand; it's a team. But I, I should be a little bit rude. But when it comes to work, it's only a few number of people. We had a list of, I think, thirty-five members in the organizing committee. But I'm sorry, we had around ten members working there, but. It was because of them only this conference was su successful. The m most important credit goes to our organizing chairman who was always was, was working day and night to make this event successful. We had our organizing secretary who was there against. We had our registration chairperson and finance committee who was also there. And you were in communication. Oh, yes, you, I was there. You covered it very well. Oh, thank and you very we much. had Rupesh who was like oh, yes. working day and night. I. I yeah. told that in my uh, speech on inaugural yeah. section also. Without him, this yes. conference would not have been possible. I say it today also because I he was the one. I you 100% <laughs> because he is also doing the same thing to me, in other words. In yeah. And we had uh, the volunteers, staffs of Deshark who is working very, very hard. But the only thing is few of our organizing committee members didn't come to attend the conference. That is the most sad part. That is <laughs> okay, then I'll, I'll just um, take a small break over here and then talk to the audience. Like, for example, there is a saying, like you heard uh, Dr. Sristi Sresta, she was not complaining. She was just trying to bring out some facts about the lesser number of people who were active, normally should have been very active, due to some reasons I don't know. But I must tell you, what happens in a beehive? A uh, hive is, a, is an activity center where all the bees are working, you know. And there are also drones. Mm. The male bees, they simply sleep, they simply, you know, eat honey and that's all. So maybe these drones also will uh, learn to work with the worker bees one day. So let's hope let's so hope. that this will happen. <laughs> you like yes, it? Yeah. All right. Very much. Okay, then I'll proceed on. Uh, so, you have already mentioned about the lessons learned from the first I shared. So, what is in your opinion, your general perception as to how the second I shared should look like? Uh, in my opinion, like I guess you'll be asking me about the IC hat committee also. Yes, I'll be. I'm coming to that. <laughs> so don't, I'll don't bring it here because ready, we please. have that was one our main important uh, aspect of this conference was formation of that committee. So once we have formed that, I think we'll work on that, and it's not only theoretically but practically also, so that we can develop tele medicine or more like we are more with teledermatology right now so if you can do more on teledermatology okay so I think uh, next in next conference we could pr pr present some research work on this not only live because we have already done live demonstration so we could include other centers also or we, if we have added some newer centers we could add that also that is one aspect second thing like i said we could include more work from different parts of nepal as such because that would be a because what challenges we are facing or what nepal is facing may not be the challenge for another country so that would be another very very important aspect so dissemination would be a very very good thing and that also 
we have to do it very much in our country so that would be one thing yes, how, <laughs> how did you know that I've got a question on that <laughs> and before I asked you you started answering them ah that is great but anyway I'm coming to that point again well Chandra Giri Hills the lovely yep. gondel <laughs> ride we had and on top of that hill and uh, you see we had a meeting or conference and we saw the international conference on e-health and telehealth being transformed into the international committee on e-health and telehealth so you've already highlighted i mean the significance of that so how delighted uh, are you with the formation of yeah. a committee like this? Yeah, I should say I'm very much delighted. Actually, after being a very crucial part of this conference and after formation of that committee, I think I have to go into teledermatology more now. I'm thinking about that right now. And uh, it's like, uh, it's because it's an international committee and you get to work with experts from where many countries so it's it's a very it's a big honor for me besides that it is a privilege for me because i don't know much about teledermatology so i take it that way so this means this committee means more work for all of us obviously right yep. in many forms yes, yes. not only in talking but also in terms of communicating and then of course uh, conferences and then exchanges of ideas yes. and so on well, Dr. Swisti Svesta, I really thank you for the lovely answers and we have reviewed the first iChat that ended uh, almost a month ago yes. in Kathmandu and of course the laurels were there for all of you and certainly that conference made all of us very happy and delighted and I must say that our chairman of Daishak Professor Dr. Anil Kumar Jha uh, is the happiest among <laughs> the happiest yeah. persons at Daishak to see that conference Thank become you, a resounding success. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.